Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Rosh from The Poor Millennial Mom and this channel is all about cash stuffing, budgeting, and debt repayments. I am currently on a journey to paying off $86,000 of credit card and student loan debt, so if you're interested, please subscribe to follow me along on my journey. Today we are stuffing my sinking funds and savings binder. I've got somewhere around $280 here and um, yeah, let's count our money and get started. So we've got 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60. So 260 plus 10 is 270, and then two fives makes 280. Perfect. Okay, so let's just move some stuff here. How are you guys? What is new with you? I think I've mentioned before, I've been working a ton right now, so it has been incredibly busy, but you know, the season two will pass, right? Okay, so we're gonna start off with travel. Um, I'm gonna change how I do these when I have a bit more time, but <laughs> right now, um, okay, so there's not $1,000 in that anymore. I spent that when I went on my trip to Toronto. Uh, I think there's about 900, actually. So maybe we'll swap out this and we'll do this, okay. So I'm throwing 20 in here, which gives us 1,120, 40, 50. So 1,050. I spent a lot <laughs> in Toronto. Um, so for those of you who are not Canadian, Ontario has, well, so I live in Alberta where the only tax we have is 5%. It's the GST. Um, other provinces have PST or HST, so PST is a provincial service tax, and HST is when provincial service and GST get combined into one. So here in Alberta, it's 5%. In Ontario, it's 13%. So everything I was buying in Ontario was much more expensive. Um, but there are stores in Ontario and Toronto that we don't have in Calgary that are like kind of just there, or they're in Vancouver, like they're in big cities. So... Uh, yeah, I did a lot of shopping there. I didn't have any accommodation costs because I stayed with my family. Um, my transportation costs were pretty minimal as well because I carried over money um, from a booking that I had done during COVID that got cancelled. So I carried that over to pay for my plane ticket. And then um, I didn't drive while I was there. I took the train, so that was pretty cheap. So yeah, um, if you are interested, let me know and I can do a video about like what I spent in Toronto because I was keeping track. I did it all on debit as opposed to using cash. So if you're interested, comment below and let me know. Christmas fund is getting nothing. Um, health and dental is going to get 20. Uh, my new job does have health insurance, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's see what we have in here. 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500. Amazing. Um, yeah, it's, my insurance doesn't kick in till July, but you know, we, we have it. It's really good insurance. It's way better than my student insurance. So that's exciting. Car is going to get 25. I do not have my markers right now. So, you know, if you're wondering why I'm not coloring in, that is why. So let's see here. Okay, we're going to do 20 and 5. So 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So 775. Is that right? I hope that's right. I think that's right. That sounds right. Uh, let's swap out some... No, actually, we won't do that this time. I might do that. I think I'm going to do bill swaps, like, every... At the end of every month, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, $5 challenge. I have stopped carrying cash, so... I probably... I don't know how much more of this I'm going to do, but we'll see. 10% challenge. Um, so my income was 1688 and for 10%, I'm putting in 170 because I round to the nearest uh, five. So 100, 
100, 20, 40, 60, and 70. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, okay. So, what do we have in here? 500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, a thousand. Oh man, I think it's a thousand. We're gonna try that again in a minute, but um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so 1200. Let's count again. So 500, 600, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, um, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so 1,200 dollars. Um, wow, <laughs> that's nice. I should put some of this cash in the bank actually, but it's finding time to go to the bank, you know? Okay, what did I say? Did I say 1,200? I hope that's what I said, because that is what I'm writing down. Okay. Extracurriculars. Gifts is getting nothing. Hair and beauty is getting nothing. Oh, shoot. What was this one? I always do this. I always do this, you guys. Is this gifts? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is extracurriculars. Hang on. That. Little cat. Big cat. Label your envelopes, guys. Label your envelopes. Okay, I think this was extracurriculars. So we, we were gonna put 25 in here. So 20 and five. 20, 40, 60, 75. Obviously extracurriculars are going to pay, cost way more than $75. But as my income is increasing, um, you know, I'll be able to put more into these envelopes and more towards debt, so. Let's see, debt, this is just gonna get straight deposited into the bank uh, because I'm changing my debt payments so I don't pull the cash out. I just do it directly from my bank account. Um, but I'm gonna tell you guys I'm putting $100 towards my credit card. So that's what I'm doing for this paycheck. And then birthdays. So $20, whose birthday comes first? Big Cat's birthday is next. Um, his birthday is in September, and the, I do have $200 in there, but with the price of everything going up, I'm actually gonna put another um, $20 in there. So yeah, all right. Now, that is my video. Thank you so much for watching. This one wasn't as chatty, but I appreciate you hanging out with me nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again soon with another cash stuffing. Um, probably on Friday, a cash stuffing where I'm going to do my bills again, <laughs> you know? Um, my paychecks are, right now, they're syncing up. So I get a lot of money every two weeks, but then no money in between. Um, I kind of liked it when they staggered and I had a paycheck every week, but you know, can't always get what we want. So let me know if there are any videos in particular that you would like to see, like, you know, how I'm managing, working full, working more than full time, like 60 hours a week. Um, how do I parent when I'm doing that? Just all of that stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.